someone said something about body count. Oh, I was asking. Oh, okay. I was asking about okay, that. Okay, yeah, I was saying like a woman's past matters for a relationship. Yeah, we but, were talking about how you think that a, a woman having a lower body count is of higher value for... 100%. Okay, and then I was going to ask you, like, what do you think makes a man's body count, like, OD? We're not the same. Like, a man that has sex with a lot of women has clearly brought value to the marketplace. A woman that has sex with a lot of men has lost value in the marketplace. Why? Uh, yeah, I don't like me. Value either. in the marketplace in what Why way? Because I know broke really guys that fuck anything that walks. You can't just be a person who likes to have sex? Because, here's the thing. I if you're a man and you can have sex with a lot of women, you, you're doing something right. But it doesn't have to mean financially. But and you're doing something right. Yeah. You're attractive. Why does that make you're in right? shape. You have game. game. You have something. You're able to bring something to the table. Sex is not easy for men to come by. It's actually very difficult. One in three men right now is a virgin and or celibate between the ages of 18 to 30. Well, it's definitely Whereas for more women, hard for men. For women, it's easy for y'all to get sex. So therefore, right. you're not rewarded for having sex. But men, it's difficult for us to get sex. So men are praised for having uh, having a lot of sexual partners. This is why the most powerful men since the beginning of time, sultans, kings, etc., have always had hordes of women. Okay. But it doesn't go the other way around. And going back to what you were saying, right? Now I'm going to answer your question. Men and women are different. We have bio biological, um, how do I say this? Goals, okay? Men is being as sexual with as many girls as you can. Busting nuts with as many girls as you can, right? Spread your seed far and wide. Okay. Women, protect your egg for the best man that comes your way, okay? So in other words, our mating strategies are adversarial. Shout out to our guy Rolo. We've had deep talks about this. Women, keep their egg for the best guy. Men, spread their seed to all the girls that they can. So we don't play by the same set of rules. So me putting off marriage is not the same as you putting off marriage because you're not able to find a guy and lock him down to commit to you. But me, my job is not to commit. My job is to get as many girls pregnant as I can. So we have different biological urges. So we don't play by the same set of rules. So you don't have to get married. I can understand that no, perspective. Pretty, pretty much, no. As a matter of fact, if you look at men that are widely respected, a lot of them aren't, aren't married. You look at like someone like Dan Blazer and Hugh Hefner or whatever. Why do guys admire and respect these men? Because they have hordes of women that they're having sex with, that they're hanging out, living the bachelor life. Oh, but they're admired and respected by other men. Yes. Gotcha. <laughs> good job, Seth. No, I mean, I get it now. Yeah, no, good I job, Seth. It. Yeah, but, but hold on, hold on. They're admired and respected by other men, and women want to have sex with them, which is why they have women in the first place. So, like, for a woman that's 25, what do you think is too much, too many bodies? After five oh, bodies, they noticed that the, the, the divorce rates went up significantly what does that have to do with anything how does that even because correlate? it means that the girl gives up on the man a lot faster Easier. like she does she's not willing to ride or die she's like fuck it i'm out so the know? more body she has the more likely she is to get a divorce because she is feels like she has more yes. or maybe like trauma accumulated it's trauma just, i mean like... i mean we don't make the rules we just report them i'm just saying that okay. what they found was the higher a woman's body count number the higher the likelihood of divorce as well Sex and sex is much different for men than Maybe it is for women. Like, if you don't fucking please me, nigga, I'm out. On to the next one. Pretty much. <laughs> okay. well, well, it's, it's not that. It's that the more the more partners a woman experiences, right, the more she has kind of how do I say this? A data set to go back on. And some guys, right, might have fulfilled her in a certain way that the future guy might not. Yeah. This is why a lot of girls, right, when they do get married, sometimes they get married to a guy that wasn't necessarily the first choice. He was just the best choice at that time in her life. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. So Will Smith, <clears throat> yeah, you know what I'm saying. Look at Will Smith and Jada Pinkett. Mm -hmm. Jada really wanted Tupac. Yes, yeah, she did. <laughs> okay, but now she got stuck with Will. He accomplished the security side, but he's a pussy. So now she's out here disrespecting him. It's clear that they're not happy in their relationship. She cheated on him with some 20 year old. We got the clown world going on. Yeah. So Sad. it's August now. Is that to say that if you have a hot body count over five, you're never going to get married? No, I'm no. not saying that. What the studies do show is that. Well, do you agree with those studies? After five, I, I mean. Uh, we've, we've, seen here. we've seen it but i think that also a woman that is around the age of 25 and has a body count over five to six men that means that of course she had over a handful of experiences with different men different all time i'm not even gonna get into that conversation but i think that she now embodies the mentality like oh i do have options out there and I think that that's also yeah. kind of a masculine mindset because m men think like, oh, what? there's other options out there. So I think that people don't like the fact that women that have a high body count kind of have this mentality like, mm -hmm. I'm cool with experiencing new things, kind of mm -hmm. like how a man can type thing. Mm -hmm. so I We're think not the same. We're not the same. But yeah. I'm just saying, no, I'm making that, that like point. And I get it. I get that. But women that's going to inherently make you less attractive as a woman. Mm -hmm. Men do not value women that have a lot of sexual experience with multiple men. 
I feel like a real man doesn't really care about that. Greater value. If you were if you were messing with a girl that had 20 bodies, right? That means yeah. that she had 20 other guys to deal with before yeah. you. And then she settles down with you and picks you. I want a wife for her. No, I'm just saying, I'm saying hypothetically as hell. But I'm just lied. saying, if she had one or two bodies, you're going to think of her as more value. But then it's like, she hasn't Less even experience. had experiences with She's other people more to necessarily She's like, no, able experience. to like, manipulate. No, I'm saying like, how I'm can you trust to. her like... And not leave your ass in yeah, the how, right. how can you trust that that's like the most valued option if she hasn't even experienced a whole line of other guys and now she picks you? Do you so know what this I'm trying is, to say? No, no, I know exactly what you're trying to say. This is a perfect example of projecting what females want versus what men want. So to women, a man that has experience is extremely attractive, right? A man that's ambitious, a guy that's been through it. He's been through some adversity. Unfortunately for women, your experience makes you less attractive. I hate to say it like that, but that's the truth. Experience builds men, it destroys women, okay? So when girls go through trauma and they go through adversity, right? Or they go through a stint in their life that was really tough and they have a bunch of maybe sex or using drugs or whatever, that's going to fuck them up. And it's going to fuck up their ability in the future to be able to lock down a guy. And a lot of guys are going to look at them as lower value. I'm not saying that girls that have a <laughs> promiscuous past are terrible people. I'm just saying that your marriage prospects go down with the more partners you have. Because less guys are going to be willing to accept the fact that you come with a past. Women want a man with I, a future. Men want a woman that does not have a past. For example, my friend that came on the show, like she's super successful, but she literally can't find a man because she's everyone's seen them like her getting fucked by other men. So, so no man you, wants that. You, you know what I'm saying? 